One thing I forgot to add when I was talking about uh, jealousy and uh, toxic leadership earlier in my live today was um, the story of Sarah and Hagar, the Egyptian maid servant. When I first read that story about five years back when I was 26, it touched my heart because Hagar was dealing with so much jealousy from Sarah because Sarah couldn't have a child at the time. It was not her time from the Lord. So she gave Abram, who became Abraham, uh, Sarah, the maidservant, she said, you know, sleep with your maidservant, let her bear you a child. And then when she did get pregnant, Sarah began to mistreat her. She became jealous because she could have a child and she couldn't. And she wanted to have a child. She was the wife. So because of all this, because of all of the, because of all this heavy uh, treatment that Sarah was doing to Hagar, it began to become too much to her and she ran away and I can relate to Hagar because I've been mistreated and I was talking about how I'm often mistreated by females how in the past I've been how even now I have toxic leadership and so I can relate to Hagar in that sometimes it becomes too much and you just can't take it and you want to run away because the treatment is so harsh it's overbearing and you're like I don't deserve to be treated like this I know this is wrong I have to get away um, and that's what Hagar did she ran away because it became overbearing she was treating her unfair so harsh and she ran away in the mix of the desert and she fell and um, God met her right where she was and he said where are you going and she began to explain that I'm running away because my um, my maiden is treating me too too horrible I can't take it anymore you know she, and they have this little dialogue and then the Lord says no he says I see you he says you're with child he tells her you're pregnant he says I'm going to bless your seed um, he encourages her. He says, you're with child. I'm going to bless your seed and make it a mighty seed, a strong nation. He said, but return uh, unto Sarah, your maiden, um, and serve her. And that's what Hagar did. And I believe that Hagar named that place something. I forgot what it was called, but it was the God who sees. So for those of you out there like me who either often deal with jealousy or maybe you're dealing with jealousy right now or even toxic leadership in the workplace. It could be at church. It could be in family. It could be um, wherever you work. It could be in real estate. It can be in gospel music. It can be in whatever your whatever you do for the Lord and even physically. Be encouraged and know that you serve the God who sees. He looks high. He sits high and he looks down low. And even when it seems like, you know, things are going unnoticed, people are wrong in you. Like sometimes I feel like that and felt like that. And you wonder, you know, when will these people, you know, get what they deserve? Or when is God going to avenge me for everything I've been through? Remember that you serve the God who sees. And just like he met Hagar in the desert, after everything she was going through because Sarah was mistreating her and she was running away, God was like, no, I see you and I and you're with child and I'm going to bless that child that you're pregnant with and I'm going to make it a strong nation. Now go back and, and serve her. And notice now he encouraged her. He comforted her. He told her about her situation because I don't even think she knew she was pregnant. He was like, you're with child. He was like, I'm going to bless your seed. I'm going to multiply your seed. I'm going to make it a strong nation. But notice how he sent her right back to where she just came from. And then he told her to humble herself basically but he said to submit unto her um now god he tells us different things he works with us each differently but one thing is for sure he is the god that sees and he said vengeance is mine vengeance is mine thus says the lord be angry and sin not see god and the way we find that encouragement i know it's uh, easier said than done trust me i know because i'm going through it now but is in prayer he keeps us level-headed. He keeps us um, with that right mind of the Holy Spirit. And uh, we have to know that this joy the Lord has given us, it is not given by the world, so the world cannot take it away. Does not mean we may not get sad, may not feel depressed for a moment, but we will not live in it. Does not feel, you know, may not feel, you know, human, but we're overcomers. So 
I wanted to share the story of Hagar because when I first read it, it touched me on so many levels. For one, she's a black woman like me. She's an Egyptian. She was not a Jew, but it showed me that God is not a God of partiality. He's no respecter of persons. And even though she wasn't of the chosen people, she was not a Jew. She's from a pagan people, Egyptians, whatever, from the ones that weren't called by his name. He's still saying, I love you. You're still my child. I see you. I see what you're going through. I love you. I'm still going to bless you. I'm still going to bless your seed, but go back and submit, serve her. And it lets us know that God loves all of his children, um, Jews and Gentiles alike, and that he cares for us all and that he sees us and that um, he has good plans for us, just like he had good plans for Hagar. Though her child did not bear uh, the blessing of Abraham, the promise and the covenant came from Isaac. He still blessed Ishmael, and I think those are the two brothers that are fighting in these last days. However, um, he loved her. He blessed her. He encouraged her, and then he told her to go back and submit. So he sees. He, he is the God that sees. She named that place the God that sees. It was another name for it. He sees all, and he knows all, and he has plans to prosper us and not to harm us. So if you're facing toxic leadership or jealousy, take courage that God is the God that sees, and that he is the God that will fight our battles for us, and that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of God through strongholds, spiritual wickedness, and high places. We overcome by the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit, and we have to stay prayed up. God is for us. Then who can be against us? He fights for us. God bless y'all. Bye. Be encouraged, because God is a God that sees.